there's an important issue facing our community and facing our masjid in particular, yeah? And it's not just a message for our masjid, but a message for all the masjid and this issue is happening up and down the country. You're all well aware of the genocide, the killing, and the torturing that's going on in Palestine to our brothers and sisters. The reason for us speaking up today is because of the fitna that is being caused in our masjid and the failure of those in the mosque committees to do what they need to do, which is to enjoy the good and prevent the evil and stop siding with the Zionists. We have a situation here in this masjid, this very masjid, where we have individuals who openly support, who collaborate and stand side by side with the Zionists. And that those people have supported and endorsed the genocide in Palestine of our brothers and sisters. This, my brothers, is unacceptable. This is treachery. That you have people in the Masjid Committee who can side with and campaign for those who support the genocide of our brothers and sisters at the same time be running the Masjid uh, Committee here. On the same day that the Zionists sent in dogs to our mothers in their bedrooms to drag our mothers out to attack viciously our mothers, the same people from the Masjid Committee were rubbing shoulders with the Kiev Starman, the Labour leader. The same people were sitting around the table having dinner while our brothers and sisters were starving in Palestine. And let me make something this clear, brothers. This is not about a particular army or a particular uh, uh, party. This is not about a particular individual. We don't support any of them. But this is about what's happening in our masjid, the treachery and the hypocrisy that's going on. Okay? So this is a treachery and a betrayal. My brothers, you and I will be accountable on normal Qiyamah. But we have some simple demands. What we want is the masjid and every masjid committee in Stoke on Trent to acknowledge that they will not have any Zionists in their executive committees or any Zionist supporters within their executive committees. So anybody that belongs to any of these major parties, that be Labour, Conservative, or any party that has supported the genocide, they need to be removed from executive roles. That is hypocrisy and monarchy at the highest level. At one side, you are doing the wars and saying you are helpless, you can't do anything. At the same time, you've got executives and the committees that are Zionist supporters. What sort of legality is this? The committees have not taken no action. Eight months ago, when this first started, I sent them a letter, explained that this could not happen and this is what one will lead to. The fitna and facade is caused by the committee, not by us. The committee need to take this action and remove these people from the committee. They are Zionist supporters. If they don't do it, our demands are not met by this Thursday on Juma. All of these young brothers will get up and stop the Juma and will tell you that this is what we want. Our demands need to be met. If they aren't met, it will continue on every Juma. This is a decision. The demand is this. Any executives that are supporting the Zionists need to be removed from the Masjid Committee. If the Masjid Committee do not take that action, then the Masjid Committee itself needs to fully resign. All of them. Because it cannot be tolerated any longer. The youth have had enough of the inaction or no action from the committee. We've had enough. It cannot be tolerated any further. There are red lines. 